Hi, I'm Brandon Laverne, and I'm here to teach you how to use layers in your Macromedia Flash 8. Usually layers are either used for multiple objects in the area or body parts moving, like you have a layer for arm, layer for leg, layer for body, layer for head, layer for eyes, you know, stuff like that. But what I use my layers mostly for is side-scrolling. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I already have it opened up here. I guess I'll start a new file for you guys. Flash document. Alright. First things first, you're going to need three things. First thing you're going to need is to have sure that if you go to modify, align, and make sure the last one called the stage is checked. It'll help you a lot, trust me. Second thing you'll need is to draw a circle. Again, it can be any color you want. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter anyways. And then what you do is you pick your selection tool, highlight it, and convert it to a symbol. And you make sure it's a movie clip. And you're going to want to name it Ball. Make sure it's a movie clip. And now you see it. It's there in your library. Okay. And then you're going to want to draw a new one called Rectangle. And you're going to... Well, you're just going to draw a rectangle. You're going to want to add some color to this. Make some design or something. Um, I'm going to make something like... At least add some design to it. They'll just make it a plain color thing because it's not going to work like correctly. Let's see. And once you got that done, you can also convert that to symbol. Right click, convert to symbol. And you're going to name this one floor. Alright, now that you got that done, all you really need to do is highlight ball, right click it, and click distribute to layers. First thing you'll notice is now there's a new layer called ball, named right after what you just did. And there's layer 1 and layer ball. So what you can do is delete layer 1 because you don't really need it. And now all you have left is layer ball. Now what you're going to do is you're going to copy floor from the library, the object floor, paste it onto the stage, right click that and distribute that to layer so now you have two layers layer ball and layer floor pretty simple if you ever get confused on what objects are in what layers you can always just click the name of the layers and right away it'll tell you what it is like if you click ball right away it'll say the object ball is in there if you click floor right away it tells you the object floor is in there it's highlighted get that and um, well first things first you're gonna wanna make it look nice so just put it the way you would and um, what you're going to do is lock by clicking here, lock ball, layer ball. What that does is it won't allow you to edit layer ball whatsoever. So, and you can concentrate on separate certain layers, which is very helpful when you get frustrated. So what you're going to do is copy the floor, paste it, paste it. Do the same thing until you get it all over. And for the right side, you're going to want to go off screen a little bit and add some. Alright, now you got that done. You're going to want to unlock ball layer and lock layer floor. And you're going to go up to frame 10 and insert frame. And do it for both so you can see both of them. So, And you're going to want to insert keyframe at frame 10 for ball just for ball and then you're gonna wanna insert frames for 20 do it for both of them and insert keyframes at frame 20 and at frame 20 you're gonna wanna move it over just a tiny bit and of course you wanna add a motion between between 10 and 20 and then you're gonna wanna add a keyframe for floor and make that go up to 30 insert frame for both of them for 30 Insert keyframe for layer floor, and insert oh, and insert keyframe for layer um thirty for floor. Unlock it and lock ball. Okay. Now, on keyframe thirty, what I want you to do is move everything completely to the to the left. Now you can't do it all separately. So what you usually do in an easy situation like this, click the name of the layer. So it tells you all these are in that layer, and just really 
it's just like highlighting all of them so you can move all of them at once. It's pretty helpful. Now move it so that it's at the end of the screen, but not like totally at the end. Like make it be in the scene between off screen and on screen. All right, and of course you want to add a motion tween, and um, you're gonna add a keyframe for layer ball. Go up to frame 35, insert keyframe, and just insert frame for floor. And what you're gonna do is make the oh unlock ball, lock floor. And you're going to make the ball go off screen in the keyframe of 35. And between 30 and 35, you're going to add a, a motion tween. Make sure everything looks like that. You can unlock the floor if you want. And press control. Test movie. Alright, let's see what it looks like. It's pretty basic. There you go. Got side scrolling action there. Basically, it's very short, so it's not very helpful. If you want, you could just make the frame limit longer, so that, and you also make the motion tween shorter or longer, you know, depending on what's made. So basically, that's really how you do it. You could add a lot more frames if you want, but you know, whatever. So that's really pretty much how you do side scrolling. Use that to your full advantage. All right, now um, I'm Brendan Laverne, Chronic Productions. Stack Master 123, signing off.